Welcome everybody back to the channel. Um, been a while since we've been on Amnesia The Dark Descent. I believe before I go to the workshop, I have to come back in here and I have to find a key. Um, yeah. Open this to load it now. It took a little bit longer than it needed to. No, it's not the study, is it? No, I'm in the wrong one. I need no I don't need that never mind right I know it's behind a painting thought it was behind this painting can't seem to interact with it They didn't take that guy long to come find me. Will he find out I'm in the closet though? Can damn sure didn't try to look hard enough. It's done! The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. 
This is all too strange. Too strange indeed. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. It took me long to find it. All these lanterns are lit for whatever the reason. Um, it is that's not like that. Give me some light. Even though there's plenty of light in here. Is these two down? These three up. Up and down. Tender boxes. 5th of July, 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Okay. Uh, Turn me this way. Nope. Just gonna throw. You down there. Gonna throw you down there. I think this was the... No. Thank you. 
14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia, he said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Okay, so we visited good old Dr. Tate. Three pieces of coal. Hopefully I put those nozzles in right. And I won't have to come back down here. some oil now. Would you get on the thing? I'm at your... Biscuits. I did not put those fuses in right. Damn it. Alright. Um. Ew, get off it. Was it not. Was it purple? Red, yellow? There we go. But I do gotta go back down. Crank this. Ow! 
Not cool. Ew, ew, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Ow! Fuck! Thing. Let's go. I'm dead. Real life, I would be dead. I'm good. I'm good. Come this way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Alright, that's gonna do it for this part. I will see y'all for another part in the future. We are more likely getting a little bit closer towards the end. Though it may feel like I'm starting to drag it out a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I hope y'all are enjoying. Could you just stop that? I hope y'all are enjoying the series, and I will see y'all in the next one.